having Mia Taylor as a girlfriend. You know, I don't want to sound desperate or anything, but you know. <laughs> You're so desperate. I mean, I would, I would do anything for her. You know, like she's been noticing me these past couple of weeks. So. Uh, she's a little sketchy, dude. I've heard some things, and that's all I'm gonna say. You know, I'm serious about this. No, yeah, man, I know, but like, I don't want her bringing you down or anything. You know, she's you know, bad news. Don't know. Because all these years, I've seen her jump from guy to guy, and I haven't gotten my chance, and now I can get my chance. So I'm not going to mess this up. All right. Do it. I didn't... Don't say I didn't tell you so. Damn it. I, mean, I bet you by the new Nine Inch Nails tape at the end of this week, I'll be on a date with her. Go ahead. Prove me wrong. I will. Dude, check where Mia is. Oh, dude, no way. That's where yeah. we were just at. That's kind of wild, man. That's that's good. Look. Oh my god. That's that's her. This is perfect. Um, I'll catch up with you later. Uh, no, right. no, no. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, hey, Frank. Oh, hey. Uh. What's up? What are you doing down here? Oh, you know, just shopping for Christmas presents while I'm absolutely broke. What about you? Um, you know, whatever you're into, I guess. It's been a while for me. I'm, it's been a while? Since I took things that don't belong to me. Oh, yeah, that's... <clears throat> yeah, that's really sick. You don't have to lie to me, Frank. I know you're a straight-edge rich boy. Uh, hey now. I've changed a lot. <clears throat> my parents don't really make the money they used to anymore, so I've kind of had to find my own ways to make money on the side, you know, to pay for my expenses and stuff. Yeah, something tells me that just means shoplifting. You've never actually robbed someone. You know, I, I haven't, but I would if I needed to. Hey, listen, I've got this Tinder date. He's a really well-respected member of the community. I'm moving up in the world. I'll see you later. Um, would he, would he have a lot of money on him? Um, uh, probably. Why? I feel like that's not proper first date etiquette. Uh, I probably wouldn't get a call back, but I'm always up for a challenge. Let's go. You know, honestly, I didn't think you had that in you, but we came out with a pretty good chunk of change. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy us some drinks, but I think you should put this on. Um, yeah, are you sure? Yeah, I it'll look good on you. All right. Yeah. No, I, it's, yeah. it's fine. No. I'll be right back. so far from saving me. What? Why are you so far from saving me? It's uh, Psalm 22. It's one of my favorite verses. I'm, I'm sorry, but do I, do I know you? I wouldn't expect you to, but I know you. I know everything there is to know about you, Frank Stahl. Okay. Yeah, man, um, I'm gonna go. It's nice to meet you. Frank. But that boy is going to die. You know that, right? How, how do you know that? It's my job too. Exodus 21, 24. It's 
classic, Frank. I wonder if that kid you left back there knew that one. Look, I don't care about your Bible verses. Just shut up, all right? Shut up. Just shut up! Love is a white flame that burns a hole into your soul. But love burns out. Toxic love poisons you. Whatever you do is up to you, Frank. You're in control. And nothing is out of your control. Psalms 22. No one is too far to save you. Do I know you? You do now. Who are you talking to? Um, no one. No one. I was... Yeah. No one. Um, I gotta go. I'll... S I'll see you. I'll see you later? I don't think so. Wake up. You have to wake up for me. Come on. I'm I'm not too far from saving you, alright? Alright? Oh god, okay, please, you're gonna have to wake up. Wait, 911? Yeah. Yeah, no, I got body here in Coolest Park. I need you guys right now. Yes, he was he was severely beaten. Please, hurry! 